use the word chelation and the average doctor will screw up his face and say nonsense. That's very strange because chelation, a process to remove toxic heavy metals from the body, was developed by the U.S. government after World War II to treat heavy metal toxicity. And the material, EDTA, is still in use today as the safest, most effective way to do this job. The basic chemistry is really pretty simple. Heavy metals, once in the body, stay in the bloodstream for one to three weeks' time, and then are absorbed into deeper tissues, especially fatty tissues, which they prefer. Not the love handles that I'm talking about, but tissues are like hormone-producing tissues, the immune system, and most important, the nervous tissue. Nerves are tiny microscopic wires, and as such, they need to be surrounded by some form of insulation. The body makes myelin, a form of fat, to do this job, and so it's estimated that approximately 35% of our nervous system, including our brain, is made up of fat. No surprises there, especially considering the world nowadays. And that is where heavy metals really do their damage, in the hormone-producing glands, the immune system, and the nervous system. A good chelator needs three properties to do its job well. First, it has to be in the bloodstream in adequate doses so it can get into all the tissues deeply where the metals are stored. Secondly, the chelator itself must have a powerful attraction to these toxic metals so as to both pull them out of the tissues and bind them tightly so they won't go back in. And third, the chelator should have no natural or nutritional value for the body so the body, having nothing to do with it, excretes it quickly out through the kidneys and thus removing the toxic material promptly from the body. EDTA was a substance that was specifically developed to do this job well, and it is still the safest, most effective drug in use today and for the last 50 years. Now, there are many natural chelators, as they call them, promoted especially on the web, but they do very little actual chelation, so little, in fact, that they're really clinically not effective at all. Heavy metal contamination, pollution in general, is becoming an increasingly important health problem in the world in general. I make mention of this in many places on my website, especially the area called detox. Poison is in the dose. Thank you.